Not much. Happy. How you feeling today? I feel good. 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 Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm good. It's Friday. It's Friday, and I finally got a chance to talk to you. I know you've been busy and stuff, so it feels yeah. good to finally get a chance to to connect. I know, right? Listen, it's it's been a a, a week for you. I'm pretty sure, haven't it? <laughs> Listen. Oh, let me explain. I didn't even think it was even gonna do what it was gonna do. I just was really just trying to let my people know because everybody my circle you know my I, I post something a year ago so when she went online and said something my whole thing was to uh kind of like safeguard myself because um you indirectly called me a liar so i had to somewhere on my platform you know what i'm saying take up for myself and then right. kind of like because people was hitting me up like, I thought you said something, something, such. And then she got receipts saying she did da, 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 da. So I had to like really like lay it out. Like, nah, this is what really happened, you know? Right, right. And you you definitely had the receipt. Okay. <laughs> you definitely had the, the receipt. Yeah, you, you can't open your mouth, you know, you can't back it up, you know? You That's true. That's truth. true. That's true. And one thing I had to say on Twitter, I was like, y'all, do y'all realize she by no no had over a year to try to make this right exactly. before you came out and said anything about it. Right. And it, the the thing is, if you're gonna just stand on business, all she had to do is handle business, it'll be cool. Like I my whole thing is I don't mind being in the background, you know what I'm saying? I don't mind being the silent, whatever. That was all cool. As long as you pay me, you get what I'm saying. And the whole thing was you ain't paid none of my labor. You ain't paid none. Of, you didn't pay me any attention. You get what I'm saying? That was cool too. I was okay with all that, but you cannot come out and call me a liar or, or insinuate that you did something that you didn't do. You get what I'm saying? Right. And see, that's the whole biggest thing. It's not a hate. No, it's not a, uh, against her personally. It's just if you're gonna tell the truth, tell the truth. Tell the whole truth. So that why, that's what I did. I said, you know what? When I come out, I'm going to just lay it all out. And I told her, I told them this last time when I did the, uh, when I made a video the first time, I said, listen, if you don't want the whole thing out, just squash it, let it go. You go about, go about your way, I go my way and just end it. Mm. But you went on national TV and you kind of discredit me and then made it seem like you did it. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I had to come out. A lot of people don't know why I did what I did or why I did the interview is because you went on national TV. I don't have millions of followers. You know what I'm saying? I don't have right. that reach. I don't have that platform. So I have to protect myself the best way I know how on my platform, on my level. And it just so happened, it just took off. You know what I'm saying? Well, I knew it was going to take off. I knew that. I knew that instantly. I said, when he get up here and tell on Sheree, I mean, because she has a reputation, period. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that, you can't take that away from her. Nah. She has a reputation at this point. So that's what people are going by, is that yeah. reputation. Then you coming by stamping them receipts on it, just gave it, and certified it, yeah. everything. And, but what was the craziest thing to me is you knew what we said. You knew the receipts I had. We all, it was only three of us in the room. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then it's like, if any, not, which is crazy, she might want to leave this alone because I have, I recorded everything. 
So if you come out and try to rebuttal anything or try to make me look bad or whatever, I got a whole hour video that is sitting in my phone ready to drop at any moment whenever she ready. So she don't want to play these games because it's going to make her look worse. So it's like, baby, just chill. Just take this, eat it, you know, say my bad and keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? And now, that's what I, I really did her, say. Leave it I just, alone. Leave it alone. Yeah. Yeah. So basically what brought this back up is the fact that she brought that that uh comment as a receipt exactly and the comment if i'm correct the comment was from Ro rowan whatever her name yeah is. rowan yeah right now okay but what they okay, did let me ask hold, you. On. Oh, go ahead. hold on let me tell you so what they did was that was off neighborhood talk when neighborhood talk posted a year ago i responded right into inside the comments Rowan had nothing to do with me. Rowan was cool, but I feel like you picked sides when you went and you started taking up for Sheree and like kind of throwing me under the bus. You get what I'm saying? So I already knew that was strategically planned. Like, okay, say this. Sheree ain't going to say nothing. And then I kind of knew they was going to use their receipt. That's why I responded right behind her. And they they cut all that out. So my whole thing is, if you're going to tell it, tell it all. Like me, I'm going to tell it all. I'm going to tell you the good, bad, and the ugly. It is what it is. This is what she did. This is what I did. This is where it went. Hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. Um, so let me ask you this: based off of your 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 podcast interview that you just did, yeah. you and and Rowan had a pretty tight relationship, or at least you had a good working relationship. Yeah, we had a we had a cool business relationship. Yeah, we did. I had, or do y'all yeah, still hey, have? I, man, I, listen. Once you pick sides, I go on about my business. I don't like drama. I don't like mess. Don't come tell me sorry. I'm cool. Just, you know, you had an agenda. It didn't work. It backfired on you. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like I told her, she should have just stayed neutral. She shouldn't have said nothing on nobody's side. Just stay neutral. It is what it is. I would have never put her in nothing. You know what I'm saying? But because I feel like you picked the side, baby, you got to go down with the ship. <sighs> okay. Um. So I do want to ask this in regards to that, though. Uh, there was a couple things you said in the interview that I just don't. I, I listen. I applaud you because you definitely showed your professionalism because you said something and it did it didn't stuck with me. But <laughs> you said that when you got down to the fashion show, she didn't speak to you. She walked right past you and everything. You got to be kidding me, right? Nah. And I, I it's so crazy because I hit up the dude from Bravo and I was like, yo. Um, I know I, I'm I, I'm not part of the show now, but would it be possible to get that footage? And he was like, um, because I'm, they was filming, so um, he just put LOL. So I don't know if they would give it to him, but if they did, fine. But she literally walked in, walked to the models, walked to Rowan, didn't speak to me at all. Had like Rowan was going kind of back and forth in between the two, and I told Rowan, I was like, "What's up with her? Like, what?" But that was letting me know because we already just texted the night before. And said, you know, I want to, I, I fly out tomorrow. You know, we need to deal with the payment. They will find the payment, do everything then. So only thing I could assume, you avoid me because you ain't want to pay right then. You ain't have it right then. Or you didn't want to have that conversation right then. But all you had to do is come tell me, like, listen, I'm busy. I'm taking care of all this. We can have that conversation afterwards. You get what I'm saying? Like, but you just straight uh, avoided me the whole entire day. No thank you. No, like, no verbal thank you. No verbal uh, how's it going? Like, what we got going on? Like, no talking at all. Just talk to one and just walk. I was like dealing with the models. Ain't no way. And I let Sasha and she was doing in that room where I had to tap Sheree on her shoulder, baby. You over here look corny. And see, I was about to, but I know me. Like, I'm real. I'm real. So I'm not going to be, you're not going to, it's, it's going, I don't want to argue with a female. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to argue with you. I know the camera's rolling. I know they probably look on, they're going to be people thinking, oh, he's looking for a moment, and it's not that. So that's why I say, you know what, let me just step to the side. It's not my moment. It's not my fashion show. It's not mine. Um, it's not the right time to have this conversation. So because it's filming, because I know we in the, we all in the middle of working, I'm going to respect it and just tell her, listen, we'll deal with it after the fashion show. And that's just because, you know, they're trying to set up stuff. You're trying to run around. They're trying to dress mannequins. We're trying to get people in clothes. This is just not the right time to say, hey, because it'll be easy. she be like, listen, I'm busy right now. You know, because she really was. We all were at that time. You get what I'm saying? So I, I respect and I know how fashion shows go. So I say, you know what? Let me just wait. I could wait. You get what I'm saying? I could wait. 
I just wait till I get to Miami and I just deal with this tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, you mentioned a lot, and I got to be real, right? Mm -hmm. I got to be real. Yeah. So real. you mentioned a lot of like red flags in conversation okay. with Sheree. I, it was. What made you still want to stick around, even though it sounded like you knew you was going to get played a little bit? No. It, okay. I ain't going to lie. It was like, 60, 40, I was like, she might pay. I was the 40 was the might pay. The 60 was like, yeah, she ain't gonna pay you. Because it was just too, you ain't nobody that busy. And then she wasn't invested in the brand. I would say, like, I was like, hey, dude, what designs you want? She was like, do whatever. Like, she didn't have no idea for men, like the men clothes. She just um only thing she just kept saying on bra tops and tights. I'm like, bro, you're doing the wrong way, so you need more than that. So it was my idea to bring in jackets. Let's like bring in some jackets. Let's bring in some stuff. So when I seen you wasn't really invested into your brand like that, you just was trying to put on the, you just really just wanted the fashion show to say I had one. I guess the go part, I mean, just go with your storyline. Um, that was one red flag. And then why I kept going is because the conversations, like in the testament that was having, Rowan was assuring me, if she don't pay you, I promise I'm going to pay you. I'm a believer on Rowan has a couple dollars. You know what I'm saying? We right. have, I done made money with Rowan. Rowan has paid me over and over. I never had to run Rowan down. All her checks cleared. You know what I'm saying? It was never an issue when it came down to money. Rowan, I seen her, I mean, I know her reputation. She buy $10,000, $20,000 dress. So she know fashion. She know how much stuff costs. So me telling you the price of me coming at the end, telling you something, I'm, I was assured if Sheree said no, like she said, don't worry about it. Our relationship is strong enough. I'm going to take care of you. So in my head, it was like, all right, just go get it. Because like Rowan, like, I'm not going to look crazy. We can't look crazy. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to look crazy on national TV either. So it was like, in my head, just get the job done. You know what I'm saying? You you promised something and it's a good opportunity. So, you know, seize it. I'm not going to sit here and lie and say it wasn't an opportunity. It was a great opportunity. You're on, you're on national TV. You get what I'm saying? Whether they know it's your work or not, it's still your work being presented. You get what I'm saying? So this an opportunity to grow, to make relationships with Bravo, to make relationships with other people, to meet people, to meet models, to, you know what I'm saying? So it was, it was more than just her brand. It's what was beneficial for all of us. You get what I'm saying? So I just went, I just kept going because I'm like, all right, Rowan's gonna take care of it. I'm gonna just put my all into it. So that's why I was spending the kind of money that I was spending on quality stuff because number one's gonna be on TV. Number two, your name on it. You know what I'm saying? And then people all I mean, you know, you're a black designer, so you already got a slash right there, you know, as far as with the industry. So now you finally got an opportunity to be on national TV. You wanna present something that's good work you know what I'm saying you want to even though you only had three days like I when I tell you I literally probably had four hours of sleep that whole week and it was like you want you will want somebody to appreciate that and respect that what you the type of time and energy you put into their brand and bring it to life because you had absolutely nothing you know what I'm saying that's like I made you look good without you even working as hard as me I outworked you for your brand and it was like oh all right like it was no appreciation. I don't know. It was it, it was a stab in the heart. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, like you ain't appreciate what I did. You know what I did? And it's like yeah, I ain't doing enough. Or everything. I wasn't you know what I'm saying? It just was, I don't know. It just and I want to tell you, it's more than just the money. It's like when you work hard for something, you want somebody to appreciate your work. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate what you did for them. You do something good for somebody, you would want them to like, oh my God, thank you so much. Like be appreciative at least. If you ain't gonna pay me. Okay, so I mean <laughs> <laughs> so I can understand that. I, yeah. I can totally respect that. I can totally yeah. respect that. So basically, you did the job just hoping and thinking, like Rowan, you got a good connection with Sheree. You got this thing for me. I know if Sheree don't take care of it, you got. It. Yeah. And that's what you went off of. Yeah. I, can't be, I can't, I can't, I can't fault you for that. I really yeah. can't. Yeah. I can't fault you for that. And I can't say that I wouldn't have took the opportunity to be on national TV, yeah. on Bravo, making yeah. them dope connections. Yeah. Um, yeah. did 
open the door? Did it still open the door for you to work with other people? Or no, how? not no, because it didn't. I'm gonna tell you why. Because she, it's like she stifled it. You make because you didn't. She didn't want nobody to know. I guess that this. You get what I'm saying? So she told Bravo to cut me out from what I know. And like, I don't have a receipt on that. So this right here is hearsay. So she could come back this, whatever, that's fine. But this is what I heard. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the, she told Bravo to kind of cut me out of it because she didn't want nobody to know who actually did the clothes, made the clothes, whatever. She wanted to kind of keep that private. So that was already, you cut me. So whatever I did go and do, all that was cut out. So now it, only thing I could get out of, um, out of this opportunity is money. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that was really it because if she don't come out and say, hey, he did this for me, it's kind of like your word against hers. You know what I'm saying? Right. And if she would have paid me, it's like now why you running around saying, hey, I made her clothes, I made her clothes, I made her clothes. It wouldn't have made sense. You know what I'm saying? It would have made sense if she would have brought me on and tried to like, um, like introduce me, like, hey, how you doing? This is that I want to thank y'all so much. But this was one of the designers who came in. And helped. If you would have did that at the show, if you would have did that on Bravo, if you would, it would have helped me. So everything she did, it did not help me. You know what I'm saying? Because you kept me secret, and then uh, you kind of like threw me to the side because you didn't want nobody to know me. You know what I'm saying? And that's cool because I'm used to most people doing that anyway. When like when it comes down, most people really don't want to give you light to shine and they like because they feel like you're gonna take the, I don't know, you're gonna take their spot. I don't know what people think. You know what I'm saying? So I always had to fight a little extra harder to, you know what I'm saying, to get a little recognition or whatever, which is cool. I'm cool with that. But if I gotta do that, then you're gonna have to pay me like top dollar so I can continue my journey and to, you know what I'm saying, building my brand. You know, and so, you no, know, to answer your question, it ain't help at all. It didn't. It ain't help at all. And I, I think that's definitely a missed opportunity because yeah, Shrek could be so far, man. 14 years, and this is what you do. This is what you do. I mean, and listen, I'm going to tell you, I've been covering the whole situation. I covered <laughs> your comment from the neighborhood talk. Okay. I've, been, I've been literally covering <laughs> the watching. whole situation. Because I'm not going to lie to you. And I know the people in the comments probably going to have something to say about this. But yeah. I was I was rooting for Sheree a little bit. Okay. Because, again, I see you on this platform like this. And I get it. She got a reputation. But I was rooting for her. I'm like, okay, yes. Then when she come out with these, with these, with these pieces, I'm like, okay, cool. But then your 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 website supposed to go up, and baby, it's it's it it it, it ain't up, and it ain't working. I think what she didn't think through is when you show a fashion show, most people thinking you're coming with those clothes, or I'm gonna see a replica of those clothes, or I'm or that one. And she wanted to get a mass produce because mind you, you ain't pay me, but then she had. I think it was Rowan text me and was like, hey, can we get the samples to send to the manufacturer? And that's when I cussed Rowan completely out. Like, I really was disrespectful at that point. And I think that was like the end of our relationship because I felt like y'all ain't paid me. Y'all ignored me. You ain't say nothing to me for months. And you just out of the blue text me. We need those designs. Can we get those designs to send to manufacturer so we can put them on the website? No, those are my designs. You cannot get them. You did not pay me for them. You get what I'm saying? And at that point, I ain't want you to pay me for them. You're not going to get them. And it was like, it is what it is. Like, no. Uh -uh. And I think she didn't think it through the well, way people was going to be looking for those designs. Because to her, she thought she made. Like, cause just cause her, she felt like her name was bigger than the design. So my name is bigger than the design. I can put anything out, not knowing fashion. People want to want what they see, and I think she got that rude awakening that your name is not bigger than the brand. You get what I'm saying? Like, you have to still produce a good product. You still have to show me a good product. And people was let down when you just had you thought your tights and put your name on the waistband was enough. No, they wanted what they saw on the runway. They wanted what 
Kane and everybody was jumping up and down for people wanted to see at least something similar to those brands. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> and she I, couldn't I replicate it because you don't know how it came up with the brand. You don't know the 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 you know what I'm saying? The the you can't you can't grow the brand. You only can replicate what I gave you, but you can't put new things on there because you don't have a design of mine. You can't keep designing. You get what I'm saying? So if she put those out there, it's just gonna be like, okay, what next? Because you don't have a designer on your team. You get what I'm saying? Oh, Miss Mamas, Miss Mamas, Miss Mamas. <laughs> Now let's go to this model, this whole model thing. And I, right. I, I, I need to ask you this so I can clear it up. Because okay. I watch the show and I pay attention to detail. Okay. Uh, so let me ask you this. You stated that the day before the show, mm -hmm. you sat there from 8 o'clock to about 1 o'clock in the morning yeah. waiting for them to show up. And they told yeah. you Sheree was still filming. Yeah. You was like, I don't really need Sheree. I need these models Yeah. right now. Mm -hmm. So you mean to tell me none of the models showed up? There was no models to show up. They so you mean to say she ain't had no models no. whatsoever? No, because she had to end up going to a. From my understanding, she had to end up going to an agency either like that night or the next morning, and they just pulled some people and sent them like the next day because she didn't want to pay for models. And I'm like, do you understand who you are? Everybody gonna come to you and want a check so even on the show not just with me when her if you go back to the show when rowan when they kenya did that model call and had the model call and kenya said you have to pay for models you need to get if nobody showed up to the model call and they went her and rowan was kind of going into it she was like you're gonna have to pay and rowan kind of got slick with her and was like that was a reenactment to what really happened the, the honestly because the first time it was me rowan and what's called they just added kenya in and put them on pay on put them on what's called just reacted that whole little scene about the models because we had that conversation and with me rowan and uh uh uh, uh <laughs> the girl and that's some Charette, tea right there we had that conversation and we were like well what a model and she was going back and forth then rowan was like you have to pay for models models are anywhere from 250 to what's called you need at least 30 models you you need to put at least 5k aside just for that and she was like oh, oh i'm not I, 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 we can't just get no free models i'm sure right like it's gonna be on bravo we're like we can just get them a gift bag baby people got bills and that's what i don't think she understand people don't work for free no more people don't work for shout outs no more people don't work for those opportunities without money we have bills to pay you got to use gas. them all got to use gas to come to you they they taking all this time like you want somebody to be there at one o'clock in the afternoon and your show is not to 9 30 at night you have to pay these people this time you can't give me no sandwich and a little doggy bag and think i'm cool with that you know what i'm saying that's not fair to them because you getting a check from bravo this whole day you know what i'm saying don don let me just say this i was right about the apollo situation then I was definitely right about that. How they threw that in there, yeah, I was right I, about that. Right. Well, they already had Apollo. Uh, I think cast for oh, that, okay. whatever. So Apollo wore my outfit. That he on the red shirt, the black jog. He on the red okay, cut out shirt with the black jog, and he had a cross bag. I made all that from the bag to the shirt to the pants to everything. Damn, they the shoes. <laughs> so the only two models that she had solidified was her son and Apollo. Yeah, she probably uh, she knew Apollo was gonna be part of because she was trying to, you know, I think she was, you know, how they do, like, you know, try to just get a wild moment or whatever. But hey, wow. Okay, so that's some tea about that whole whole situation about the models because I said I need him to clear this up. I need to know if the models just didn't show no, up and what's or crazy if she is, didn't have any. Yes, I don't, I don't think she had any models. And what's crazy is. They were supposed to do a fitting that night. So I had to, because I'm like, I'm making clothes for, like, I don't have no measurement. Model, you were saying that you had know. to, you didn't have Oh, yeah, so we, um, you usually got a fit model. So you going to have alterations. So what I did the day of the show was supposed to be done that night. You get what I'm saying? So the day of the show, it was like rushed because it was like, we got to, I had to fit literally like almost 40 plus outfits. I don't know what's going on either. Uh, uh, let's see. Hold on, Sheree. They done sent something over here to start this broadcast. <laughs> they said it's Sheree. They said it's Sheree. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Sheree, though, 
Uh, <laughs> I think this is very, very convenient time that she just made this uh, She by Charade anniversary post that I find, you know, interesting about. Oh, I see. Oh yeah, she um she posted it this morning, um, <laughs> and it's a very like girl by type of message because everybody is like literally dragging her in the comments. Like, what about this man you have not paid? <laughs> okay, so she said, "OMG, at she by Sheree has been in business for one year. I really appreciated everyone who supported my business over the last year." Okay. Uh, it was, <laughs> it has not been easy, but you all definitely keep me going. I am human, so I am not perfect by any means. I am uh, uh, consistently learning and growing within this e commerce space. I have big dreams for Shiba Sheree, and I cannot wait to accomplish them over time. Also, for those asking me, yes, there will be new products coming very soon in time for hashtag BravoCon. I thank everyone for the support and patience. The wait will de definitely be worth it, girl. You, they've you, been waiting you, fourteen years. You, I was just about to say you've been you've been making us wait all this long time, Miss Mamas, and you. <laughs> I, I think people starting to lose hope. I mean, I, I well, okay. No, I think hope is not lose hope, but I pray that it do take off. I don't wish bad on anybody. Now, while I was right. telling people, I don't wish bad on her. I just don't and can't do anything for her again but i don't want people to take my attitude and what my experience and take that over to her like go support her like if she do get it together which i pray she do i mean if you've been doing it 14 years i hope you get it right i do i really really do i do too i hope i don't wish nobody bad either I yeah. know. but but look. i think she should pick another it's like pick another pick pick another career like i don't think and 14 years that you can't get it right, it, it might be time to maybe turn Shiba Shere into like some Airbnbs or something. You know what I'm saying? And like, you know, I think that'd be dope. Like get some condominiums or something or get, or, you know, a little townhouse or something, you know. It could be something else. You could do like Shere Studios or, you know, you know, for, I don't know, you in TV, so, you know, do something there. Get some. She could have done something know. smart with Martell. They, it was a storyline, so they, they could have done something together. They yeah, I work. mean, because she was sure it could be something else. Like, you know, I don't know what it could be. I can't give you, I don't know. I don't know her talents. I don't know what her gifts is. So she should get, but we know fashion is not a talent nor a gift. And and people think designing is so easy. Oh, you can just wake up and just do it. It is really, and I tell people, I was like, in three days, I did 40 pieces that was acceptable for TV, that was acceptable for a brand on a, on for a, she have a name. So you can't just give her anything. You know what I'm saying? And you can't just give her anything. So you have to, and then you're gonna be on TV. So you want, then you want to do something fresh, something new. My, I had three days. You know what I'm saying? No sketches, no nothing. I came with everything. So I don't think people grasping what I went through to get that done and completed. You know what I'm saying? In that time and frame, I had relationships with other people who do other things. Right, and, that's and then I had to. Life. I mean, you, luckily, I had a network of people, but these network of people charge as well. I had, I mean, like the uh, graphic designer girl who was doing a DTS file for the embroidery for all the bags. We was literally up three, four in the morning because I, if I didn't get it done by that time, I had to be at the shop, the man was opening up the shop early, six o'clock in the morning to knock me out first before his workload. So now you got to pay him extra. You got to pay her extra. You get what I'm saying? So now you're talking about a regular $200 job is now almost $800 because people charge for their time. You get what I'm saying? So at what time am I going to sleep? If I'm sewing, doing all this, got to stop what I'm doing, take the, go get the file, take the file to the man. And we got to do all this before six o'clock because he had to get it done. And I need it by one o'clock to take it to the fashion show. You get what I'm saying? So that's what I don't think was took in consideration on what people did and without using your name using my own name you know what i'm saying using right. my connection i could easily say it's for she by straight you're gonna be on tv like do it for free but then what about the problems them that, that to them people and they ain't get no recognition at all you know what i'm saying 
Right. That's why I don't make open promises because if I would have promised that to them to do it for free, I would have been in the hole with these people or they would have we would have probably lost that business or that connection because I made a promise. And you just reneged on the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? And if I'm mistaken, I think she said something about she got it done in Australia or something. I don't know. It was I, I'm a little off like that. Yeah, it's it was. Yeah, it was. And it's it's just you know it's unfortunate that you don't get you know. Um, it just it, the whole thing was just unfortunate. But I just like I said, it it wasn't me to try to go famous. It wasn't me to try to be out of. It was me protecting my brand, protecting myself, and then I already got two strikes. You cannot call me a liar or a bad business person on national TV. You get what I'm saying? And think it's not going to affect me. You got a million followers. If a quarter of your people attack me, I'll be destroyed. You get what I'm saying? Versus my people attacking you. So I had, well, to, I had to respond and, 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 and tell the truth to save myself. You get what I'm saying? Right, right. <clears throat> I mean, I ain't know she had fans like that, like that. You know, I know Team Twirl, <laughs> Candy Coated. You know, I know they got fans and stuff, but I ain't really know Sheree had no fans like that until I, I was on Twitter. And I mean, they weren't coming for me because they, they an easy read, just like Sheree is an easy yeah. read. Okay. Let me ask you this. So you, you've cre you've done some things for like house for some housewives, though. Like yeah. uh, I've seen you done some work for Kenya, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, I saw Candy on your page, but what did you? Help I did create? Candy. Okay, so I did Candy. I think three personal things for her own photo shoots. I did her like a red outfit. I did her this leopard, and I did her all black, if I'm not mistaken. And then I did stuff for Escape. So I made numerous. Uh, I did at least. I mean, I don't want to. I did at least five or six. I did their verses. I did some of the stuff for their verses. I did stuff for their tour. I did like I did a lot of stuff for Escape. So Candy, I work through her stylist, so she knows me. But we always go through the stylist. You know what I'm saying? So right. it's like it's a it's a stylist and designer kind of like relationship. Usually Jeremy called me, and we kind of like okay. like he worked through me like that. You know because he have an idea, she had an idea, and I just bring the light. I bring it to life. You know what I'm saying? I just get that for the fit and put it on. And I'm out the door. And they do use the style and stuff. So I have worked with Candy. I have worked with Kenya. Um, I did a lot of stuff for Kenya. Me and Kenya got a, a cool relationship. Um, I was going to be messy and tell Kenya, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to just stay out of it. I ain't even going to tell Kenya. Like, I gave none of them no ammunition. And what she don't understand is they really cool with me. I could have gave Kenya off. Me and Kenya is very cool. I was, I, no, Tyree, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. I got a little messy bone in my body, but I was literally thinking the crazy <laughs> thing is, I'm like, if Kenya know this type of stuff, Kenya could use this as ammunition against Sheree. But Kenya yeah, is a good friend to Sheree, though. I didn't tell them because I was like, this not y'all fight. And then they don't know, she could, she could eat y'all up because y'all don't know I would have to sit down and coach y'all and tell y'all everything would happen because the only three people that was there was me, Rowan, and Sheree. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it would it would be a disadvantage kind of sort of because they wasn't there. So it's like you getting secondhand information. So I was like, I like my stuff to be factual, receipts, and indisputable. You get what I'm saying? Absolutely. So I was like, um, I ain't gonna do it. So I never told them. I never bought it up. Never told them. I like how you move. I like how you move. I like how you move. Because I was like, when it's my and I, I, it was crazy. I was not thinking about doing that. I mean, like saying anything, no more. I really forgot about it, but I don't throw away anything. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I was like, I can't believe this lady went on TV and said it. Like, it really like shocked me because I was like, anybody else though would have been like, thank you so much for like, you like I've been trying to do this for so long, and you brought this to life for me. You know what I'm saying? Like I helped you with your dream, and you again, you wrote that same message a year ago, crying about new designs coming, new like. And I didn't read the post; you just told me, but I re I heard that rehearsed at least three or four times before. You know what I'm saying? I I I I I'ma say. And it, the internet has said it. Everybody has 
said it. Sheree is a big disappointment. Period. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. I do hope she get it together, but she's a big disappointment. We, yeah. you, I feel like you are on a platform like Housewives. Yeah. You, we've seen you, you, no shade, but you're the most hired and fired housewife that we know. But you yeah. still bring it in some type of coin, and it's it, to me, it just doesn't understand. I don't understand why. I, I'm gonna tell you, and I was just, I just me not knowing her, not not, not knowing her finance, nothing personal, but just just me, you know, being a little close. Some people live above their means, and they're trying to live a certain type of lifestyle, and it's like you don't have to impress people. Like really live your life. Like I rather you really go get it and really have it than trying to make it seem like I got it. I'm not gonna spend my last bit of money, or if I know I don't have money coming in, there's no way I'm gonna buy a fifty thousand dollar bag or whatever. You don't have that money coming in, so really you push it out, but nothing's coming in. And it's like, like everybody, I don't know what she do outside of housewives. Like I don't, I never know her to have a job. I never known her to have a business, you know what I'm saying? But again, I don't know her personal business either. So I, I could, you know, I'm not, I can't talk about that because I is it won't be factual. But right. you should be able to do, I mean, you're in the public eye. Take advantage of that. You know what I'm saying? And this right here, I feel like was her opportunity that I don't think God could do anything wrong. She messed up her own blessing. And I really feel like this was her opportunity to actually grow her brand and it to be something. She should have been selling brand. I've been in business, like my website been up for a year and I have made over $10 million on my website. Thank y'all. That's the type of message she should be saying. That we not, you should not still be at the same beginning stage right now. But the reason why you said the beginning stage because how you treat people and the type of relationship that you build, you destroy every relationship that would have helped you. You get what I'm saying? And it's just it's it's not it's sad and then everybody else at this point gonna want their money up front because i don't care yeah. like people is watching people is seeing people is is what's called so i'm not saying they're not gonna work with you because they can get a, a a coin get a dollar that said they work with sheree you still got a name you know what i'm saying it, it, they still could build on that but they gonna want their money up front or if they gonna just do it for free and my whole thing is i will respect some more if you just came to me and said listen i don't have whatever 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 can we work something out? What can I give you to that will satisfy you? Let's just do this because I really need this. I would have respected her more with that. You know what I'm saying? Right. But when your pride and your ego, I can't, uh, what, what you want to do? You know what I'm saying? Right. Man, listen, because one of the things I said, you could you could tell you are a very humble person. You can tell. You can tell because you could slay some of these people about mm. how they treat you. Ooh. Clearly. And I try to... because. I feel like every bridge that you burn, you don't know later on if you're gonna have to cross that bridge again, or God might have some. That person might have a blessing for you later on. So I try to, I be strategic, because I could have did this a year ago. I could have ate you up a year ago, but it was no purpose. It was no point. You know what I'm saying? I made my post. I said what I said. I did no interviews last time. People was hitting me up left and right. I said no to everybody. If I was trying to be famous, I the Hollywood Unlocked, Shayra, all of them wanted an exclusive, and I told all of them no. You get what I'm saying? Because it was never about dragging her or making her look bad. It was like, you need to set this right. You get what I'm saying? And I post something on my personal uh, Facebook page, and it just so happened to go viral. You get what I'm saying? It, it, but I didn't lie. And that's why I keep telling people, like, but I'm not lying. That's the whole thing. And I'm not, I'm trying to still, for some reason, still try to say you, but like, nah, no, I'm going to just speak my truth, but I'm not going to, like, I'm not, I'm not saying anything outside of what I know and what right. I got that. receipts for. You get what I'm saying? Because anything I say, she's going to try to take it again. She got a bigger platform. She's going to try to take that and then switch it up to work for her benefit. You get what I'm saying? Well, I, I'm going to call it out since Andy didn't call it out. <laughs> Do, her bringing an Instagram comment is never a receipt. I'm just saying because anybody can say anything on Instagram. I was like, how is this a receipt? Y'all saying everybody else stuff flopping? Uh, This receipt is a flop because it's not a receipt. It's it a really wasn't a receipt. <laughs> it was a message that somebody responded. And then I'm like, but why her word 
hold so much weight? Why Rowan were held so much weight? You know what I'm saying? Now you you gagged me. I ain't gonna lie, you gagged me when you said <laughs> when you said well, why I want to hold a peach. I was like, the hell for what? <laughs> she want a peach. Like <laughs> she wants to be a housewife. And what's crazy is nobody can tell me housewife because you know what? I talk, we talked about that. Me and her personally. So it's not like oh, he say I'm thinking she she want a peach because she told me. <laughs> This is was a Sheree was a stepping stone to get on the show. She want to be on a reality show. Most most it, it will help her. It will help her business that she on that. You know what I'm saying? She do have an amazing business. I'm not sure. Yeah, but you are going on another show. Housewives of Atlanta. It's not fun. I mean, they, they, they'll eat her alive. But oh gosh. Yeah. And look, can you see? You can tell that was set up. But they would eat you up. <laughs> but can you eat like, her? Up? But they only showed. Rwan's response, right. and that's crazy that you said how they win. That is crazy. That was Man. that right. That was kind of like a reenactment because we already kind of discussed that. I mean, they they talked about more stuff, but they actually threw that little piece in there too because we already discussed like how they gonna walk, how they gonna what up. Like that was we we talked about that. They just talked about it again. I guess I don't know, but if you watch that and you listen to some of the stuff I said and go back and watch that scene. Mm -hmm. it, that scene would make a little bit more sense now. Like, it was like I, said, oh. I was going to catch back up on a lot of stuff because now that you <laughs> provide the receipts and timelines, baby, oh, I'm going back and watch season 14 again. We're going to see this here. <laughs> because this is just, this is just crazy. I, mm -hmm. I'm going to say this, though. I, uh, I, 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 going through something like this, going through something like this, it definitely makes you put your guard up a little bit. Like, you know, you don't want to get played again by really nobody. You know what I'm right. saying? You're right. But for somebody with a platform like this, it, it's very disheartening. That ain't no yeah, joke. Yeah. It, it, it's disheartening to see how. But, you, but and, and, and I'm learning that when you make your bed, you got to lay in it. And she did this to herself. And you can't go around <laughs> treating people like that. And I'm just the one that's going to. I'm going to take up for me. You get what I'm saying? Absolutely. You're not going to treat me any kind of way. Throw me to the side like I did nothing. We not doing that. I work too hard, so we not gonna do that. You get what I'm saying? And right. then like, but I went to the source. Like, don't think I just went straight to the internet. I went to the source multiple times. You get what I'm saying? Before I text them and say, you know what, forget it. I don't want nothing. You're not gonna keep ignoring me or make treat me a certain type of way like I'm begging you. When I gave you freely, you should be giving me freely. You get what I'm saying? It right. should be reciprocated. The respect should be reciprocated. And I don't care what level anybody's on. I don't care if you just started yesterday or you've been in the business for 40 years. You, Everybody's the respect. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm providing the service for you. If you didn't like my services, if you didn't like the designs, or what's called, you could have literally gave me all my clothes back. I'm not using none of this. I'm going to use what I got. It is what it is. You couldn't do that because you had nothing. So whether you like it or not, you had to use it. But the fact that you got the response you got, you got a standing ovation. You get what I'm saying? Everybody them girls down was to them girls was rooting for her, regardless Everybody of whatever the issue was. Win. Yeah, regardless of whatever the issue was, whatever surface level issues they had going on, every last one of them women stood up and clapped for Sheree. They had Sheree back, so to see. You do. And then let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. No, no, no shade whatsoever. But if somebody like Candy give me some business advice on camera, then you had Kenya give you business advice on camera. To me, it is so crazy for you not to at least walk with that. Take that into consideration. You and, what people hate. Don't and what people don't understand is Kenya was in the fashion industry. And knows a lot of people in the fashion industry that you need to really be friends with. Like Kenya is friends with like the design, like head design, like Hermes. Like she, these are her friends. You get what I'm saying? So I would definitely, she should have, those people you should have held on to because they could have put you in certain places or connected you with, with certain people that would, everybody know Kenya no business. So I would, right. that would definitely be my, I, I would never came for her. I would have been trying to go up on her wing. But when your ego is bigger than your pockets, it will always mess you up. 
that was one thing I, I, I could say, you know, y'all, you know, it just, when somebody can give you some advice like that, because let me tell you something, when I first started my catering business, honey, it was very rocky because I had yeah. to figure out a lot of things on my own. Asking yeah. people around me, it was almost like people didn't want to see you grow. People didn't want to nah. see you maybe come up on top of them. So they're not about to give you the information no. that they know. Exactly. So I had to figure out a lot of this stuff on my own. And to be in this for 14 plus years and you still don't have nothing to show for at least the business part of it. Ima okay. Imagine you catering and you only had one catering business in 14 years. What did that tell you? That's a, that's that is crazy. That is so crazy because again, a regular old Joe person like myself, right? Out here trying to make it, I'm doing better than you, Sheree. Sheree had one day of sales, one day of sales, one day of sales, and messed up those. You ain't see all the people like she just sent me anything. She was sending people stuff that just inquired. It was again. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Who going to check me? But we know that is Sheree's slogan, right? Yeah. Now, I just ate Sheree up not too long ago because, number one, I don't like her return policy. <laughs> and then number two, <laughs> and number two, I'm trying to figure out how are you able to $82 for a T-shirt that say, who going to check me, boo? When people been selling that because you didn't clearly trademark who going to check me, boo, people been selling who going to check me, boo, merchandise since you said it. Trying to but she's so uh, she's so unattached. She's so unattached. Um, she probably don't even know if people sold it. I, I just can't. I can't. I can't. Bottom line is, Sheree just, honey. I I don't know. I don't know. Again, I do hope that she learns and moves forward because. You know, you gotta make a coin to, to live out here. And it's just it's just really sad to see this. I'm not supposed to play with y'all in these comments. <laughs> I'm not supposed to play with y'all in these comments. But listen, I um I saw you work with like Spice, I saw you work with uh Trina, Glorilla. Mm -hmm. So you are here really doing your thing, man. And, and people I'm so when I tell you I'm so quiet, I have I have worked with I have done stuff for Beyonce, Jay Z. I have done stuff for Usher, Young Bloods. I have done stuff for Johnny Why would you Gill. Mess up, Keith, I'm saying Keith Sweat, uh, Ted Riley, uh, Busta Rhymes, um, uh, Yo Yo, Derek J. I've been on um, Chris. I've been on uh, Good Hair, like. I'm, I don't like what I don't do is I don't try to, uh, I let my work speak for itself. If you want to work with me, work with me. I don't like to stand on my backs of my resume and I don't go around and be like, I work with this person. I work with that person. I work with this person. I work with that person. Like I work with some people before, I mean, before, uh, Instagram was popping. You know what I'm saying? I'll go back and get receipts and be like, okay, I've been doing this since I was 18. You get what I'm saying? So, I mean, from basketball players, football players to uh, it's so when people, but I built these relationships and I just try to stand on my work, not who I work for. I don't want you to come work for me because I work with Kim Kardashian. You get what I'm saying? Like, work with me because you like my work. Work with me because we could work together. Work with me because you like my work ethic. Work with me because of that, not because of them. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I don't brag on them no more. I don't even, if you look at my body, I don't even put, I'm a celebrity uh, designer or a custom designer. I don't try to hold on to them. I try to build my own brand, my own name, because with my if my foundation's in me, none of them can't knock me off. Like, Beyonce can't get mad at me and then I'm not working on her no more. If all her if all her followers are all my clients, that means you have took my whole business away from me. You get what I'm saying? Like I don't build my business only on Instagram because if Instagram shut down like MySpace did, then all my business leave. That happened to me before. All my business on I put my whole business on MySpace. MySpace shut down or stop it like turned around and just stopped working. I stopped making money. So I said no longer will I put my business in another company and expect it to work with only them. So I go out and get my own clients you know what i'm saying 
y'all that that um that right there uh uh that was some help for them entrepreneurs y'all entrepreneurs that's in the chat y'all better take yeah. heed to that because that's a good yeah. word because um that that absolutely makes sense that absolutely makes sense because yeah. you don't want nobody using you for that i like that but sheree girl i'm pretty sure you heard of his his resume or at least a piece of his resume i, I don't so, understand why you would mess that up somebody i'm sure I'm I'm all around Atlanta. So some they told her she know a little song. You know what I'm saying? She knows she right. did her research. Mm, mm, but I mm. think what they took was I'm so nonchalant and don't care about recognition and all that. She took that and was like, okay, cool. Like I could do what I want, ain't nobody gonna know. Type, you know, that's why I think the that it came from. And then it's like, dang, why he responded on me? Because how you treat ain't nobody else do what you did. You get what I'm saying? If they did, they paid me. And I had to shut my mouth. Why? Because they paid me. We would not be sitting here talking about this had you paid me. Like, for real. Mm -hmm. If she would have paid me, y'all would never even met me. We would not be having this conversation. If she would have did what she said she was supposed to do with a, a businesswoman, 2%. I didn't need recognition. That was always an agreement. I don't need, I don't need recognition. I'm gonna get my recognition. I will go get. I know how to hustle my own recognition. I don't need you to tell everybody who I am. I will tell. I will go tell the world who I am. But you gotta pay me so I can get out there and tell the world. You know? <laughs> true, true. <laughs> That's I need true. gas money, man. I can't get over that. <laughs> give me the gas money to go tell them. <laughs> now, listen. I ain't gonna keep you too much longer, but I do want to ask you this. Okay. Now, if I'm understanding this correctly, I'm. Uh, we gonna go back to the fashion show real quick. Uh, if I'm understanding this correctly, you were promised $2,400, correct? No. Okay. Can you explain that little okay. piece for us again? I spent $2,400. Okay. Rowan said, I'm going to reimburse you what you spent. I said, okay. And then we were supposed to have a meeting to talk about all the other costs like the labor, the day rates, and all that. We never even got to the reimbursement because she's trying to figure out why it was, Sheree was like, why was it $2,000? I'm like, baby, it was more than $2,000. That's the reimbursement. That's what I spent out my pocket. That's what Rowan was trying to explain to her inside the text message. And she was like, okay, I'm going to take a nap. We can talk about this when I wake up, basically. She never woke up. And my phone, she's still napping. <laughs> So I don't know. Like we never, we never got to the point. Like the night before, we were supposed to do the fitting. We were supposed to handle business that night too. We were supposed to do the fitting, go over all the numbers, go over everything, come up with the final number, come up with everything, say what you know, talk about my label, talk about this, talk about the time, and then if she, and then it was, the whole thing was if I need you at the fashion show. She was not supposed to meet me at the fashion show because I wasn't supposed to be there. My flight was early that morning. So you couldn't have wanted me at the fashion show because I told y'all, I fly out on this day for my birthday. So we got to do everything the night before. So when they text me, you got, I see you at one o'clock. How you going to see me at one o'clock when my flight leave at 12? So Wait. I had to end up changing my flight to the, the end of that night. I mean, to, to the last flight that night because I got the clothes, we ain't do no fit. I'm not dumb. I know we're gonna have to put the clothes on the models at least to make sure they fit. I can't just drop them off and go. You get what I'm saying? So <laughs> when I ask this, I pray I don't get mad at your response. <laughs> I pray I don't get mad. I pray I don't get mad. Did Sheree, you mean to tell me because you guys did not get an opportunity to talk business, Sheree got these pieces for free? Yeah. <laughs> I got $2,000 back of the $2,400 that I spent. And then I, I, and then if you want to be fair, I say the $400 deposit, so we're at a four, so I'm at zero. So, nah. so it's nah, like you went to, sure so, right. that, so that's like you went and bought the food. I gave you the money back for the food, but you cooked it and I ate it, and that was that. 
and you go home. So you went and spent fifty dollars at the store for my food. You came to me, I gave you fifty dollars back, and you cooked for me, prepared, cooked all that, and you a private chef, and you left. How much money did you get? No, wait a minute. <laughs> And that's what I'm trying to explain to people. Wow, Sheree. Nah, this is a little bit worse than what I thought. Lord have mercy. Wow. And she, so people keep hearing 2000 I keep saying, yeah, y'all yeah, keep saying, but you got $2,000. No, I did not. I got my money back of what I spent on material and getting your products situated. In fact, I spent more than that. We just came up with 2000 We was arguing. And Rowan was like, I'm going to just give you 2000 I just said, fine. Am I at zero? If I really do the, I'm scared to even go back and just pull out all the receipts and actually do piece by piece how much it really was. So I just still saving face and saying, yeah, I'm at zero. I'm probably not. And that's just so I can feel good and don't feel worse. <laughs> Sheree shifted Kim wig. I had to shift Sheree wig a little bit. Cause this is this is a little foul. This ain't no little foul. This is foul. This that yeah. that that right there. Now I, I I'm sorry. I don't got no respect for for that. I I, I do not. Oh my God. Wow. And then y'all want to be in the comments talking about why he coming to YouTube to tell his story when she can get on national TV and that literally people lie. Understand, the people don't understand, I don't have that platform. I can't call Bravo and go in front of a million people. I can't call Andy. I can't call Sherry Shepard. I don't know these people. I can, Who am I to go on their shows? I'm still ain't nobody like that. that call, I'm not famous. You know what I'm saying? And all people not getting. I can't get, I have to go on the platform. I can't go on. To tell my part, you know what I'm saying? She could get on national TV. I can't. That people not getting. So yes, that's why I'm on YouTube. That's why I was on Instagram. That's why, cause that's that's where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? I got to have me a beverage early today because <laughs> this. <laughs> damn, I didn't know it was. This. Wow. Yeah. These people is upset in these comments because I don't think clarity wise, I don't think we really knew that much yeah. that she got these free pieces. But I kept saying in my mind, like, it sounds like if y'all never had a business, like talk business, you never talk money. Because, OK, the reason why we did not because mind you, we had three days. So she was still filming. She was filming the show. I was running around trying to get everything. They kept adding stuff on. So as you add, I'm going out buying. You know what I'm saying? I need bags. I want these kind of bags. I want this. I want that. I want this. I want that. It's just adding up. And they just like, just invoice me later. Just send me the bill. This is what you're saying. Just invoice. Just put it all on the invoice at the end. Just put it all at the invoice at the end. So that's what I was doing. I was just adding on. Adding on. Kept adding on. We need three more shirts. We need three more of these. We need four more these. So that's how she got the 40. It wasn't like, I need 40 pieces. No. It was like, Today, oh my God, we need five more pieces. We got six more models. I, well, I think we're going to have six more models. I want to have this many models. So how many clothes we got? Okay, I need six more. These. So, And when you in the moment, you just get in. You know what I'm saying? You just buy, and she like, just invoice me later. Just we'll talk about this invoice me later. Okay, cool. And I was in, in my receipts and show, listen, the budget is growing. I want you to know we out of budget. I text that three times. You know what I'm saying? You know what she respond? That's fine. Give, I just need what I need for my show. Invoice me later. That's so what you gonna do? Damn pay. So what you gonna do? That's what you gonna do. You gonna invoice you later. We gonna talk about everything later. We are gonna talk business after we get all this. Just get everything and just give me an invoice later. Okay, cool. And then had the nerve to kind of get a little fight with you talking about. Oh, yeah. She need an itemized invoice. So yeah. she could see everything. Yeah. Yeah. I need an item. I, but she was going to get an item. I, told, I said, but I was going to detail it all the way down to the thread that you needed and request it. I want elastic thread. Like, she got that deep to where you running around trying to find clear elastic thread for a runway show that people from the, like, what? I need this color string. I need this color buttons. I need this color. Like, it was that detailed. You get what I'm saying? 
with certain things. So I'm getting all the stuff that you asking for. You got to pay me for it. But. Oh, Tari, Tari, listen, listen. <laughs> I know God is about to multiply. He about to bless. He about to, he about to really show out for you because yeah. this right here is just, uh, this is, this is, I mean, we knew it was bad, y'all, but y'all can't lie and say y'all ain't really feeling something right now because this clearly just, wow. Yeah. Oh, oh Sheree, 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 you should have thought about that receipt. and. So this kind of messy question, you know, uh, but the people <laughs> is asking, they uh, asking, you know, Candy got speak on it. They asking, have you ever thought about going on speak on it? No, but I, yeah, well, actually, um, I have a friend that's cool with her manager and we, they, we, they called me. Oh, well, he called me. We talked, they supposed to get back to me. So, um, I haven't heard anything back. So I don't know, but we did, I did talk to her manager. So I don't know. They looking for the time, or they just gonna pay it, or I, I don't know what they gonna do. So, well, listen. The people want you to go talk to Candy. So <laughs> we we were trying to get her to be the first one, but hey, you know. It is hey, I understand. I understand. She probably busy. I know they getting ready to go start that tour back. Actually, before. I think it's the first day when I was supposed to talk, the first day I was supposed to talk to you, that's the meeting I was going. You know, I said I was going to a meeting. That was the mm -hmm. meeting we was on the phone talking about that. And so it was supposed to go over there, but I don't know. I don't know. So I was like, you know what? Hey, if it do, cool. If not, it's cool. I ain't true. Now, I, I hope that window opens so that you guys can mm -hmm. sit down and talk. Because honestly, too, y'all business mindset. I want to hear y'all have conversations about business, too. Business, like, yeah. Just seeing two people that's good business minded people just going, just having a conversation. That's really what I want to see. Like business minds, I like to pick them. <laughs> Yeah, me too. I actually like because you can always learn. And I'm I always want to sit down and talk to Candy about business because I feel like I can learn a lot from her. You get what I'm saying? That's so nice. she she's done amazing things. So I mean like, who wouldn't want to talk to Candy? Like what? Right. She gotta know right. something. <laughs> I mean, she gotta know something. Listen, man, again, I just my prayer. I, I'm gonna pray it, but I know it's gonna happen. I pray that that double triple comes your way uh for dealing with something like this you can honestly tell that you got a real humble spirit and that's yeah. good to keep at all times especially in business like yeah. it's very good to keep a humble spirit in business but i'm glad you ain't let her walk over you again that's nah, what i mean like i tried like i told i was like i was trying my hardest to i didn't want to do it I really was like, I hope she come around. Be like, you know what? I apologize. It just that's not her personality, so it's cool. And then some people just feel like they higher and better than you. So, I mean, I understand. It's cool. You're a celebrity. I'm not. You ain't got. You can treat me like whatever. Okay, that's how some people think. That's cool. Okay, so I'm gonna just randomly pick like two questions if we have not addressed this thing, and then we'll go from there. What is your question, Lor Lorraine? Um. They wishing you blessings in the comments because I don't know if you can see the comments on your end. No, I can't see the comments. I appreciate. Okay, they wishing you, you. They wishing you nothing but the best. There's 311 people in here. Oh, um, sure. They wishing you well. I don't know what your comments said, um, Lorraine. Uh, right. You look the way Andy be dragging Sheree. She could use some of that stuff Andy be saying as her new mm -hmm. something. Somebody said she could come out with a spring, summer, September collection, and it could be like an interior design collection, like interior, you know, decorated. You know what it is, what I'm trying to say. <laughs> yeah. I don't see your question. Oh, somebody said, okay, Tyree, you need to take these, take those designs and create a limited edition collection for BB Kyle uh, Charade. Charade. <laughs> <laughs> Very, you know, I'll probably make some money because I think that would just be so funny. It will just be like, what? Well, <laughs> that's kind of what the questions are asking. Like, is there something specific that you can do with those designs since you create them? I mean, well, yeah, I I, they mine, so I could do something with them. Uh, 
I just never thought about it, never cared to, because I don't have a fitness brand. That's a fitness brand. And then I don't do brands. I do, like, I help people build their brands. I do more custom work. So I could do a manufacturing or whatever, but I just don't like that, that space. I could teach you and do somebody else. It, I just, that's just not what I like. I, if I did do it, it would just be, it'd be just to be um, funny. It would be just to make some money, just, just to be shady. Just to be shady. Yeah, because, you know, Somebody said some stuff about me on like, YouTube, and I'm gonna get ready to put it on the shirt and sell it. Like, Don't play but with yeah, me. yeah, you know, every song just quick, just to do. Like, I'd be here for the shade. I would support. I, I would be here for the shade. <laughs> <laughs> they talking about. They talking about take the design down to the candy. See what she wants. She do right. <laughs> uh oh, he lost connection. Yeah, oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> uh, y'all are crazy. They are crazy here. They crazy here. But no, we we've been talking about this all week, really, since you dropped that uh the 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 stuff on your story. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And it was, I was crazy because just... I didn't think so many people was was watching that. I was really just doing it for my people, and like, okay, I'm gonna. I really did not think it was gonna do what it's doing. And I'm talking about in one day. I'm like, whoa. Like that's crazy. Yeah, people. Sheree has put up a uh, put up for us all this time. So seeing the true colors come out because then you went and I felt like this was messing in people's face as well mm -hmm. when she said, "Uh, no one can say that I've been sued for not paying somebody just because you ain't been sued don't mean you ain't paid nobody." I see when like I look at that too, it's so crazy. Three lawyers hit me up, and my lawyer called me. I was just talking to my lawyer yesterday, and I was like, "It will cost so much to. It, I don't want to. It'll be a whole. It'll probably take like a year to drag out in court, and I just don't feel like. And then I really don't feel like she got the money, so it'll be a waste of time." I can see that, but you know, because people, people you, don't understand, because somebody sue you, it don't mean that you're gonna get the money. You know what I'm saying? That's it. So if she ain't got the money, what you gonna do? You can't make her get the money. I mean, she can probably put a house up for sale, but it ain't that much money, so the court ain't gonna make her do that. But it'll be it'll be point. I don't even want the money no more. To be honest, I don't want nothing from her. Like it's it's a year ago. It's just coming out now, but it's a year ago. I'm I moved on. It's cool. I don't want nothing from her at all, for real. Even if she called me and offered me the money now, I say no. I say no. Well, we know she's she not gonna do that, but no, she just y'all, <laughs> y'all no. said we'll talk about that when he gone because I don't want him to be <laughs> responsible for what I'm about to say after. <laughs> um, but listen, listen, man, I do want to stay connected. I have uh, uh three people watching me. me. It'll but I actually you. have something coming up really soon. So I'm gonna be reaching out to you about something because I, I, I got I'm gonna you. be I filming something on an actual set. So I, I need some I need some pieces. Any of y'all in the comments? I got you. I do As custom. Long I make anybody dream come true. I can make anything, all sizes. So I got you. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Anybody need any custom pieces? You guys make yeah. sure you head over to his Instagram. Um, uh, uh, the mods have put the Instagram and his YouTube in the chat. Yeah, uh, so you, you can chat it up. Get your little piece of yeah. get your little piece of two. He had okay. There we go. Uh, get your little piece of two and support. You know what I'm saying? Because at this point, we just want everybody to win. I don't want everybody to win. It could be That's so it. easy. That's it. It could be so easy. And we Especially can just work us. And we can just work together. <laughs> That's it. If we could just work together, yeah. these little differences. Or something. I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna probably be shady or whatever the case may be. But if we could just work I mean, together, but, that's life, but for the most part, work together. And yeah, like, don't yeah. be scared to, don't be scared to put somebody on your platform and see them do bigger or more than you. Your time will come too. You know what I'm saying? Like, if they time came before yours, that's cool. But your time will come. And when it, everything is timing, you know what I'm saying? Everything is time, so. Surely talking about I can't afford him. <laughs> At least I'm honest. I all, let, me, I do all, let me explain something to you. I do all all price ranges. Okay, you will you could afford something. <laughs> I like that. See, this this, this this yeah. This is why I like you. This is why I like you. So again, y'all, 
Um, everybody said this was a great interview, man. I appreciate you for setting us some time to to. I I'm ignoring it. that question that I just see about. <laughs> I'm not asking him that. Um, but <laughs> I appreciate you for taking the time because I know you've been busy uh, getting yeah. a lot of stuff done. So I appreciate you, man, and we'll be in appreciate touch for sure. All right, thank you. All right, appreciate you. All right. You're welcome.